So this is this is one of the things that we're interested in. You know, is what I'm doing taking me towards my suffering or towards my values? And that so far doesn't have to be too difficult. It kind of looks quite simple, but when you start doing it, it tends to be harder to do than it is to say. Any ideas what happens then? Guessing that, that you would start acknowledging your behaviour a lot more and, and acknowledging the suffering more than you perhaps would be doing. That's that's it's just that's a painful the, process. Yeah, that's like the right answer. That's what we want to do, right. I guess. Yeah. But something else is usually going on that stops that that can has a big influence on our behaviour, and that stuff we call the mind. And when we talk about the mind, again, see these words all have their own meanings in the matrix, we're kind of using it in a particular way. So, I'd like you just to think once more about behaviour. Okay, so we're going to come back to behaviour. I'm going to think about some behaviour that you've done today. It doesn't really matter what, but what kind of stuff have you been doing today? Walking? Yeah. Driving. Driving. Rushing. Mm. Yeah, I've been rushing. I've been <laughs> cycling. <laughs> <laughs> rushing, cycling. Mm. What else? What are you doing? Eating, drinking. Eating, drinking. Smoking. Smoking. Cleaning your teeth. Cleaning your teeth. Mm. Putting your shoes on. Tying your laces. So when we kind of like when we start thinking about behaviour, which is slightly odd, then and we look back over the day, we've lots of things we've been doing today. And here's the question: is like all of those things that you've done, how much of what you do do you actually think about? We don't do not the it's kind of everyday normal stuff you do, right. like getting up, cleaning your teeth, having your breakfast, whatever, coming to work. So you just don't. You just that. kind of do it. Yeah. So so when we stop and think about it, we've done a lot today, but actually a lot of what we've done, if not most of what we've done, is, is not things that we deliberately think about. How am I going to make a cup of tea? We just make a cup of tea, we might choose whether to put sugar in it or not, that kind of, it gets done. So we call, we call this sort of ability, Autopilot. And all of those things that you just talked about, with one or two exceptions, probably over there, aren't they? The rushing might not be. There might be one or two things, aren't they? but most of it's over here. So, autopilot is really useful. Autopilot, in fact, without autopilot, life would just be impossible. You know, here's kind of explode. Yeah? You see that? And actually, probably a lot of the small things we do every day are that pass value to your life. But I wouldn't have thought about it. I wouldn't have acknowledged that stuff every day. <coughs> right, we don't think about it. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's great. Mm -hmm. yeah, so if life is fine and you're not thinking about it, that's not too bad. Mm -hmm. However, if you're over here on also it's not quite the same, is it? Mm. So if, if we're kind of like smoking on autopilot, mm. overeating on autopilot, or avoiding things on autopilot, or arguing on autopilot, what what's going to happen if we're stuck on autopilot? We'll stay in suffering. Right. You're going to come and start. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to move. Towards yeah, the suffering direction, away from your values in other words. Yeah? So you see as I'm going here, I'm kind of going away from my values. So what we what we kind of use is a sort of, if you like, is a kind of like a little story about life's like a boat, a bit corny. We have this wonderful autopilot which drives the boat along 
and you know this autopilot kind of got programmed through our lifetime. So you know, living in this country, male or female, school, parents, da da da. We've learned all these wonderful things, and then you kind of get cast adrift onto the sea of adulthood with your autopilot. So you and your autopilot chug off into the sea. And hopefully, most of the time it works, except for when it doesn't. So when it doesn't work, what do you think we kind of need to be able to do in this story? So if you're chugging along towards some rocks, what, what might we want to do at that point in the story? Switch, I feel, so. Right. so we need to kind of find a switch. So we need, if you like, to, to kind of restore control to us, me, I. And the way we do that in act is through the five senses. <coughs> so we use the idea of the here and now to kind of regain control. So that when we're in the here and now, we kind of disconnect the autopilot. So what do you think I mean by the here and now? Um, I guess how you can adjust your behaviour at that minute that will impact on the direction you're moving. Right, so, <coughs> so you're kind of in the moment. Good. So you kind of look up and you kind of go, I can see the rocks. And because you've disconnected the autopilot, you're now in control of the ship and you can change direction. So you don't have to carry on in this direction, but if you disconnect your autopilot, then you can start heading towards your boundaries. Do you notice that? Even though you're over here, right? The minute you push the button and you turn, do you notice where I'm heading? So wherever I am, that choice is there. It's powerful. And, and the way we start by learning to come in here and now, as you say, is by looking around through the five senses. So five senses are? Touch. Sight, touch, smell, taste, hearing, taste. Okay. So we're going to do a little exercise just to, just to kind of try and get a bit clearer about these two distinctions. Everyone got a pen? Or a straw, <coughs> or a mobile phone, or a bottle. Anything, anything you can hold in your hand in front of you. <coughs> right. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly give you some instructions and then we'll do the exercise. So the first thing I'm going to do is ask you to study your object, my pen, with your five senses. We'll do that for 30 seconds. And I'll ask you to put it down and we'll ask you how much of that you could remember by closing your eyes if you're happy to do that. Okay? All clear? Mm -hmm. So we'll do 30 seconds. Use all your five senses if you want. If you have a pen like me, you might want to avoid the taste. But off you go, 30 seconds. see them preferably. And if you're happy to do this with your eyes closed, you can close your eyes. If you have to do your eyes open, you can open your eyes. It doesn't make a big difference. And now just for 15 seconds, see how much of that you can remember or recall. I will keep the time. Okay, so there's the exercise done.